guys, my name is Alex and welcome to Let's Talk Why I Talk About All Things Queer that have interested me in the past week. Let's get into this. So the first thing that I want to talk about is Sense8 because we did recently get a release date for uh, the final chapter, final episode, final movie almost. It's going to be like two hours long, right? Um, but the final chapter for Sense8 is going to be releasing June 8th. So I'm very excited for Sense8 uh, for this uh, final episode. I'm going to call it final episode because it is a series, but I'm excited for it. Um, obviously sad that when I heard it was cancelled, but I am excited that we're getting a conclusion to it because we were left on quite a, uh, a cliffhanger at the end of season two. And I was so mad when I heard it was cancelled. I was like, no, there is no way you're leaving me there. So I'm glad we're getting sort of a, a finale to the series because it is one of my favourite Netflix series, to be honest. Uh, and I'm so mad that Netflix cancelled it. I, <sighs> so mad. Um, but I am excited to see the finale of it. So uh, check out for it uh, June 8th if you guys are fans of Sense8 as well. Next thing that I want to talk about is a series that I have not talked about on Les Talk. And I have a lot of feels that I really need to process with you guys. So the series is uh, Siren. Um, it is a mermaid TV show. And when I first heard uh, of it, I went and searched a trailer. This was before it was released. I believe it was released when I was in the US. So I've only recently sort of caught up on it um, after getting back. Uh, but before I went, I sort of saw the trailer for it. And I was like, eh, mermaids. I don't really care for mermaids. As an Australian, my first thought to mermaids is H2O, just add water. And I'm like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Even though Siren looked darker than H2O, I was like, mm, I don't know. But I have to say, as like a non-spoiler overview, I have been really, really, really loving it. And I do highly recommend you all watch it. Um, I got up to episode three and I was hooked. Like, I was surprised by how much this show has got me. And I have a lot of feels that I need to talk about. So yeah, as a non-spoiler review, overview thing, watch it. Definitely, like, give it a go. Give it a go. Now, I do want to talk about some of the relationship aspects of the show, which is going to get a little bit spoilery. I'm not going to spoil main points points of the show because I want to give people, like, the opportunity to watch the show by themselves. Um, but I do really need to talk about, like, the relationship aspect of the show because I just... <sighs> I, I need to, like, let some of these emotions out. <laughs> So that's just like a spoiler warning. I'm not going to spoil the main points, but if you guys don't want any spoilers whatsoever, just skip to the next timeline. This show, there is like an insane amount of potential for an amazing poly relationship. And I just like, I, 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 don't, I don't know how, I don't, oh, I don't know how to process these feels. Like I want it so bad. It is set up so well to be a polyamorous relationship. But I just, I can't see a TV show going there, you know? Like, Yumi Her did it, but Yumi Her is on, um, I don't, I, I don't know what kind of network it's on in America. Um, it's very, it's, it's, it's not one of the, the, the mainstream ones, right? So I feel like that's how they were able to do it. I don't know if Freeform is going to be able to do that as well, because I don't know, I, <sighs> but God, I want it so much. Um, so what I'm talking about is Rin, the mermaid. She's just, oh, there she's, <laughs> she has come to love a couple. <laughs> Maddie and Ben, they are human. Uh, they're my marine biologists. Uh, they're cute. I, I like them. And Rin has sort of made her way into their relationship, and I am not opposed to it whatsoever. She has kissed both of them, um, and neither of them are like... I mean, Ben is probably, like, the most fussed about it, but Maddie's just so, like, okay. <laughs> and I just... I want it so bad. I want a polyamorous relationship so bad. I just, like... I, I just... I have very little hope that it is actually going to happen. Like, I feel like it's just going to be, like, it, a typical love triangle, which I just, I, I can't get on board love triangles when OT3s can happen, you know? <laughs> I just have a lot of feelings about this relationship and I, there's, like, no fan fictions out there for me to, like, satisfy myself. That sounds weird. Um... <laughs> But I just, I just, I want it so bad, but I don't know if it is going to happen. But 
I do recommend watching it and giving yourself all these feels, but uh, yeah, be prepared to just, oh, get your feelings messed over with. <laughs> Speaking of polyamory, I need to talk about Dirty Computer. So I've talked about Dirty Computer previously. Uh, Janelle Monet, is that how you say her name? Uh, released a trailer for her emotion picture, which is essentially like, like a film of her album, I guess. I don't know. It, it just, just first I've ever seen of it, uh, like this kind of thing. Uh, but I need to talk about it because she released like the whole thing recently, and I watched it, and oh, oh boy, I have a lot of great feels. I do recommend watching it. I'll have a link in the description if you guys have not seen it yet. Go watch it. It's amazing. It features Tessa Thompson, which you know I'm in love with. Uh, <laughs> but it like it follows like I like this polyamorous couple. Um, just like in this dystopian future where they're dirty and they're getting their minds wiped because of many different reasons, I believe. Um, <laughs> I don't, it's, it's just so hard to comprehend, but like, it's so good. I just, you need to watch it. But like, they are so cute. I love them all. And I just, it got to the end and I was like, oh no, it can't end like this. And then there was the part after the credits. So if you guys finish watching before the credits, yeah, just watch till after the credits. <laughs> but it's so good. Janelle, just, oh my God, she's amazing. I think she recently came out as pansexual, right? And it was like, there were all these articles going up how like pansexual was like the number one like searched word or term on, on something. And I was like, that's incredible. Incredible. I like that she's, I love that she's like, um, spreading awareness. Um, it's just, I don't know. I love her so much. She's just like so bold. Like she gives no fucks. And I'm just, I, I love her for that so much. I, I wish I had her bravery and her boldness. I really do. Um, but yeah, do highly recommend watching the Dirty Computer emotion picture. Um, and obviously her album, listen to that. Uh, yeah, I just, oh, she's incredible. Next thing that I want to talk about is Clexicon 2019. Yes, Clexicon 2019 has already been announced. Oh, my poor wallet. <laughs> Literally just got back like less than a month ago. Yeah, less than a month ago. And, um, tickets are going to be on sale soon for Clexicon 2019. And I, oh, whew, I'm struggling. <laughs> So here's the deal, um, ticket options. So you'll be able to see what the ticket options are and what the prices are in May. I believe uh, you'll be able to book rooms at the Tropicana. It's back at the Tropicana. I believe you'll be able to book rooms in May as well. Um, and then ticket sales go on sale in June. So if you guys don't know what Clexicon's about, I recommend uh, checking out my Clexicon vlog. I sort of talk about my experience at this year's Clexicon. Um, I do want to just talk about um, buying tickets and stuff like that. If you guys haven't seen my vlog, um, I did talk about this a little bit in that one. Um, but just as a quick FYI. So I mentioned in my vlog that next time I went to Clexicon, I would 100% get VIP tickets because the lines are insane at Clexicon and I would want my VIP to get to skip those those lines because um, I was standing like I just got regular passes this year and you can stand in line for like up to two hours um, for some of those bigger panels so I would recommend checking out the VIP passes if you guys are thinking of going also another heads up I believe I read that they are um, capping attendance the, uh, at 2019 so I don't think they capped attendance uh, at this year's one. Um, and I think they're going to try and limit the lines as much as possible for next year. So they're capping attendance. Uh, so if you guys are kind of on the edge, uh, I would definitely recommend keeping an eye on those tickets. Um, yeah, you don't want to get to the end of the year and be like, oh yeah, I want to go now. But there's no tickets available. So yeah, definitely keep an eye on the Clexicon Twitter uh, for information and their website uh, for all that ticket info and stuff like that. Yeah, keep an eye out if you guys are keen to go for 2019. Okay, next thing I want to talk about is another series called Killing Eve. Again, this is another series that I haven't talked about. And oh, wow, I have a lot of feels in this one as well. I just, I have a lot of feels about Killing Eve. I mean, I'm obsessed with it, right? I just, oh, I don't know how to describe my feels for this, this show. So, 
Killing Eve. <laughs> how do we, how to describe this show? I, I won't spoil too much, but like Eve is played by Sandra O, oh, who I love. So I was like, that's that's why I got on board with the show to begin with. Um, but she's like a um a like a, a forensic analysis or something like that, like a a a, a criminal profiler. She works in crime. <laughs> And she's, um, she's, she's trying to figure out who this, like, serial killer slash assassin is. And in turns, she gets her, sort of, um, her, herself on, on this assassin's target list, potentially. Hence the name Killing Eve. I just, uh, I am, oh, I'm, uh, like, Eve is obsessed with this assassin. I don't know, I don't know the assassin's name off the top of my head. I'm not gonna lie, because she, like, takes a lot of names. She's, she is psycho. Just putting this out there, she is, like, insane, right? But obviously, like, Eve, Eve is, like, she, she calls herself a fan because, like, you know, <laughs> she's, like, intrigued by, like, by her skills as a killer. <laughs> and this, this killer is intrigued by Eve in a very psychotic way. <laughs> and, like, I feel like I ship it, but I also don't because, like, it's just not a good potential relationship in any sense of the word. But like, I just, I don't know how I feel about these two. <laughs> but I do recommend watching it and experiencing the confusing feels that I am experiencing. It's just, it's such a hard show to describe. It, it's just really messing with my head. And I am loving it. But moving on onto the final thing that I want to talk about, just quickly, I haven't, don't think I talked about this season, but the good fight is happening right now. I think it's like, I don't know, maybe halfway through its season or something. I, I'm, I'm not sure. I kind of watch it casually, but I don't know why. The season has been really, really great. I do highly recommend watching The Good Fight. Uh, if you guys didn't know it was on, or if you haven't watched it at all, go check it out. It's great. Um, they are giving absolutely no fucks this season in regards to like, politics. <laughs> it's amazing. I have been enjoying watching it thoroughly. I also really ship Maya and that random DC chick who kind of looks like, um, what's her name? Emmy, Emmy, Emmy Rosam. Kind of looks like her. I kind of ship her and Maya. I'm not gonna lie. I love Amy in season one. This season I'm like, mm, I'm gonna go with that DC chick. <laughs> But yeah, I do highly recommend watching it. I am a big fan of The Good Fight. Um, yeah, they're just giving no fucks and I enjoy that about them. But I think that's about it. Uh, I just want to quickly talk about my Patreon. Um, I am trying to get to $750 a month on my Patreon. So if you guys want to go check that out. At that goal, I will be doing a special movie reaction. So up until now, I've only been doing reactions to TV shows. So if you guys aren't patrons... Um, I do reactions to TV shows like Supergirl and Winona Earp and all sorts of stuff like that. So check that out. Um, but yeah, once we get to $750 a month, I'm going to be doing a special movie reaction. Patrons will get a vote on what movie I react to. I'm most likely a queer movie, right? I would assume you'd want me to react to a queer movie. But yeah, so that's that's what I'm aiming to do. Um, it would help a lot if you guys did go check out my Patreon Um but yeah, I want to give a big uh, thank you to my Patreon sponsors. We got Marissa, Corey, and uh, Kathy. You guys are incredible and help me do what I do. Um, God, this has been a long video. I apologize. Uh, if you made it this far and you're new, congrats. And maybe think about subscribing. That'd be amazing. I'm going to end this now. I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.